What's up, Rideshare community? It is Lawrence reporting another day driving for Uber. It is the 13th week, day five of my five month goal, making $20,000 or more driving for uh, Rideshare apps full time. So today I resulted in about six hours of online time and made about 145, which is pretty good. Um, in the beginning, it was kind of challenging for me to get started. I was just, this whole week, I just haven't been motivated to uh, get out and drive. So I just sat there in my room and tried to get my mind right before I even logged in. And eventually I got on and um, I think the hardest part is just starting. And once I'm on the road, I'm good, you know, like, I got my uh, my audio motivational uh, books I'm listening to, and I'm just focused. But just starting is the hardest part for me that I've um, been experiencing this week. Um, so I got one more day tomorrow, and then I'll be done for the week. It looks like I'll be breaking 800 for sure maybe possibly 900 hopefully uh, today um, I think I average about 24 an hour not too bad uh, all the passengers were cool um, I did hit a little bit of rush hour traffic um, rush hour traffic sucks man like ah uh, but I'm uh, I just try to see the positive aspects to it you know like in, in the book I'm listening to it says um reframe a problem as helpful and to me it just so rush hour helps me practice patience and patience is a virtue in life and patience is is a skill it's a power and it's very um a very good skill to have when it comes to, to finance to investing to business so it's um this present moment traffic is just a good way for me to um to practice it but hold on renter is calling me sorry i had to answer that call it was a renter she was just having a hard time with the lockbox but yeah um what was i saying um yeah traffic rush hour sucks um i tried my best to avoid it but I'm just trying to change my mindset into a mindset to where I see even adversity, problems, challenges, and just reframe it and see it from a perspective to where it's helpful. And with rush hour, I see it as a good way to practice patience. And yeah, it's because it can get stressful sometimes. And there's a lot of rude drivers on the road here in Texas. And it's just very good way to um, uh, optimize my character and um, practice in responding in the most empowering way even in stressful environments and just staying calm because being calm even in the uh, in front of challenging moments where you're under a lot of pressure and you're staying calm I think it's it's a power so yeah that's but today was successful i'm uh, happy with the results six hours online time it's not a lot of hours and uh but it's i, I still made the money that goes to my overall goal and yeah i am just ready to go home i am here at the airport waiting for my brother we're delivering my kia forte for a a renter who's, who's flying in he'll be here tomorrow morning but as you know as i mentioned in past videos i like to deliver way ahead of time to account for uh, unforeseen things like heavy traffic accidents anything um that could uh caused me to be late in delivering a car.
that comes with uh, experience. So, um, and that's how, um, with the help of my mentor, uh, with these lock boxes, it just becomes more uh, passive and it's a solution for last minute deliveries. But yeah, um, tomorrow's Saturday, the weather's awesome. Hoping to make at least, definitely over a hundred bucks tomorrow. I'm gonna try to start early and finish off this week strong and head into week 14. But yeah, um, if y'all have any questions or wanna elaborate on anything of on any of my videos, please comment, like, subscribe, share and help me grow as a content creator. But until then, deuce.